Hi YouTube, hope you're doing well. Um, sorry I don't look very good, I just realized um, some people really care about that. I didn't put any makeup on or anything like that to do these videos, just because I like to just put the information out there and just share, you know, because um, I love watching YouTube videos and I want to share with uh, my experiences. So anyway, I this video is all about how we cloth diaper on the go. Um, I found it to be super duper easy and I love it more than I think I would love disposable diapers and here's why. I don't have to worry about if I'm bringing the right size of disposable diaper. I also don't have to worry about using that size of disposable diaper before um, he grows out of it. It's just like too much thinking, <laughs> you know? It's like, why can't I just use one thing like throughout the the time, right? Like when they're um, I have this little thing in my diaper bag of extra clothes. So, uh, you know, this right now is, I'm pretty sure, too small for him. So I need to, like, relook at it and say, hey, is this too small for him? These little socks here are a little bit too big for him. Um, but I put them in there because I don't want to be without socks because his feet grew, like, super fast overnight, literally, like, in a few days. One time from newborn to uh, 12 to 24 months, he didn't even go through the zero to six month socks. He literally wore them for like two days and they didn't fit anymore after that. So after, after that happened, I thought, you know what? I just really need to uh, just put the bigger size in there. It's not going to be a big deal. They're not going to fall off or anything. Um, so cloth diapering on the go, I really like. Um, let's see. I don't do cloth wipes on the go. The reason why is just because I haven't really found a good system for it. Um, I haven't... Um, I didn't really find like a good spray bottle that I liked to use. We go out pretty often. Um, let's see. We go out with my little guy. He's about two months now and at least two, three, um, sometimes like five days a week we go places. And so I just don't want to have to keep worrying about the spray bottle and is the water drying out his skin and all of that so that's just what you know we've been doing right now maybe later i'll find something better if you have any suggestions definitely let me know um i just unfortunately haven't found anything so um in the spray bottle that i have at home it is distilled water so i know it's not going to mold in there um we live in south florida things mold very easily so if i did do some kind of a spray bottle system um i think i would uh um put distilled in there sorry my eyes are kind of dry um, another thing I did kind of think about with reusable wipes is just wetting them in the sink. But you'd be surprised how many places the diaper changing station is far away from the sinks or they don't even have a diaper changing station. So this is what we're doing now. So all I did, it's super easy. So I have the, um, my diaper bag here and all I did for this video is literally just grab the diaper bag. <laughs> so... My diaper cloth diapering system is super easy. So I have the, um, I have my reusable wipes here in the reusable wipes container. I usually just take it out and set it on the, um, diaper changing station just because, <clears throat> um, my backpack, I'm sorry, my eyes are kind of dry. My backpack, um, I don't want it to like fall on my little guy. So super easy. They just pop right open. Uh, and then before I even set down anything on the diaper changing station, I should have said this for is before is I use these, um, what are these called? Like diaper liner changer things. Um, this one's bamboo. It just protects baby from the germs and stuff. It also makes it so the, um, nothing is leaking through. So you could use these like, anywhere on your bed, you know, anywhere you wouldn't want something to leak through the, um, onto, you know, the surface or whatever. And then I just take these and then put them in my, um, sorry, I had to do something. Um, I just take these once I'm done using them and I just put them in my wet bag which I'm going to show you in a second so I have these already rolled up I put them in my diaper bag 
on the side here just like this so I have them on the same side I have my wipes on um, just so they're on like the same size and I don't have to worry about it so these I got from the Dollar Tree they're super awesome they're super super um, thin even if you're doing disposable diapers on the go um, these are pretty awesome they're unfortunately I don't think they're like environmentally friendly or anything um, they're just kind of nice because there's been a few times where I had to change my little one's diaper in an area that wasn't, um, like, for a diaper changing station. Uh, and I had to do something with the wipes. There wasn't, like, a trash can around or anything. It was, um, I don't understand why places don't have diaper changing stations. Especially stores that have baby registries and they don't have a diaper changing station in the restroom. Like, I went to... Um, a store called Publix here in South Florida. It's a grocery store and they have a baby club where they gave me a book which is super nice. It was an amazing book um, for, for new moms. All about your baby. And it didn't... Um, I went into a public store to change my baby's diaper and they didn't have a diaper changing station in the restroom. And I even asked the manager, do you have a diaper changing station somewhere? Because I thought, am I just not seeing this? Am I like so tired I'm not seeing the diaper changing station? And he said, oh no, we don't have one here. So anyway, these are awesome and those bags are awesome. So I'm just ugh, shoving everything back in here. Um, so I have for my diapers here, I have uh, what's called a wet dry bag. So this is the what they call the wet portion. That's where you put the dirty diapers in. It just zips up, zip. And then um, the the dry part is here, and that's where you put your diapers in. So mine's pretty small, as you can see, which kind of works out because my guy's little, and we do most of the two in one system, where basically you have the cover, and then you put the absorbency part on the top. Um, let's see here. So I have an extra cover and the reason why I just keep this one in here is because it's an Econobums one and let's see where did I make the mark at. This side for some reason is bigger than this side. <laughs> I don't know why on this diaper. It's just how it is. Uh, so he always gets leaks out of this side so I just marked it with a sharpie there and that's the one I just always keep in the diaper bag and the reason why is because I don't, um, um, I don't, uh, have to use a lot of these typically throughout the day. So there's only a few rare occasions where he just has these, like, I wouldn't even call them blowouts. They're just, they just get, like, pooper potty on the outsides here. And then I have to use another one. So this one's, like, my emergency one, I guess. Um, and then I have a bunch of flower sec towels in here. So I literally have four of them. I almost never use four, but when we go out somewhere, um, but uh, I have used four in like an hour setting before. <laughs> so he just had, you know, like some major bowels going on there, which is good for a baby. Um, so then I also have some of these in here. I'm not using these right now, but I did when I was, um, giving him the formula. Uh, so basically what these are are little diaper liners. So you set them um, on the diaper. The pooper pee um, goes on there. You, After you change the baby, you just take these um, and you can dispose of them in the toilet. So these you can put in the toilet. Um, some of the other ones, they're not bio, uh, they're not toilet safe, but they are biodegradable. You just put in the trash can, which is illegal. Um, in most areas, you're not supposed to put poo or pee in the trash can. Um, so that's why I have just a few of these in here in case we get him back on the formula for some reason or stir him up on solids and I just totally forget to put more in there. I have just a few of them in there still. Um, I was, when we were doing just a formula, or a formula plus the breast milk, um, I was just keeping like a roll of them in there, like the end of the roll, you know what I mean? So 
that's an idea if you don't want to like separate them or put them in a little baggie or whatever. Um, so that's all you do. So you just change your baby's butt um, and then put the soiled portion in here. So if you are, um, if you have a, you're, you're doing like a more of a system, like a pocket system, what I would do is I would just stuff them in advance and then have them like all ready to go in your diaper bag. That's what I would personally do. And I wouldn't even put them in the dry part because it just makes it too bulky. Um, but you know, and mine's like small too. I got two of these on Amazon for like, I think $20. So pretty inexpensive if you consider like how much time it takes to make them. Um, but you can make them for very, very, very inexpensive and wet dry bags can get very expensive. Um, I also keep, because I like my um, cloth pads, I also keep just one cloth pad in there because um, when you're breastfeeding or even like anytime you've, after you've had a baby, um, sometimes stuff can not be regular or things happen and some people um, can't control their I don't know if it's all their bowel movements. Um, I don't have any issues like that, but I just, you know, heard different things. So it's just kind of nice to have just one extra in there. And that's where I keep it is in the diaper <laughs> dry part there um, instead of in my purse or something like that because I'm not always taking my purse around. Um, so I think that's it for on the go cloth diaper green. Oh, I forgot one more thing um, or two more things actually. This is just coconut oil. I do keep this in the diaper bag for multiple reasons, but it is kind of nice too, just to kind of put on him if I notice that maybe his little bum's getting a little red. And then I also have this in there, which is my homemade diaper rash cream. Um, it needs to be refilled. <laughs> um, but I, I don't think I've ever even used it on the go. Maybe like just a couple of times when he was having that um, diaper rash issue there for about, I don't know, a week and a half, which seemed like forever. Um, but this is really nice because it is plastic, unfortunately, but you can just pop off the top. Um, it comes out like super, super liquidy, um, when it's hot, when it's cold, I just, um, unscrew this and I can just take some off of there or I, uh, you know, pop up the top and then just squeeze it and it comes out really, really nicely. Um, so I just kind of heat up the oil a little bit and then just pour it on in there to refill it. It's super awesome, super easy, and um, I just really love it. I also, like, now I breastfeed um, pretty much exclusively. Sometimes I would give him the bottle if um, I've got something going on, like if I have to sleep extra because I was up with him all night long. He's still not on a regular schedule. I'm trying everything to get him on a regular schedule. <laughs> like at least sleep for like two hours at a time or three hours at a time or four hours at a time. It's, he's just, his schedule's just so random. It probably has to do with um, what happened when he was younger. But eventually it'll get normal again. <laughs> or not again, but it'll get normal <laughs> where I can sleep more. Um, so anyway, so breastfeeding, <laughs> um, it's great to put on your nipples to help with a sore, cracked, dry, bleeding, uh, everything. Coconut oils, I mean, extra virgin, um, organic if you can get it, uh, coconut oil. Um, so it's multiple, multiple, multiple uses. And as you can see, I just used it to fix my flyaways, <laughs> just subconsciously. Um, you can use it on your lips. So if your lips are getting a little dry, which happens to me a lot because, um, you know, I'm breastfeeding and I have to drink, drink, drink water and I'm probably not drinking enough. That's why my lips are dry. And let's see here. I'm rambling. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I forgot. I don't think there is. So... Let me know if you have any questions, YouTube. I love cloth diapering. It's so easy to do on the go, people. So, so, so super, super easy. Um, because you have a sweat dry bag here. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions. And um, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.